Welcome to Chemical Engineering course. If you are in the world of engineering or if you work in industries like oil and gas, chemicals, water treatment, then understanding how to calculate the power required to pump fluids is an essential skill. In this video, I'll be explaining the concepts you need to know to calculate pump power, along with an example to illustrate the calculations. I am sure by the end of this 2 minutes you video you will able to calculate power required to pump please watch full video without skipping it take hardly one and half minute so let's get started first let's talk about the data you'll need to collect to calculate pump power you'll need to know the flow rate of the fluid you're pumping which is usually measured in liters or cubic meters you'll also need to know the pressure difference between the inlet and outlet of the pump which is usually measured in bar or pascal additionally you'll need to know the efficiency of the pump which is a measure of how much of the energy input to the pump is converted into useful work now on to the formula to calculate pump power in kilowatts kill you the formula is power kill you equals flow rate x pressure bar x specific gravity 3600 x efficiency please check the links given in description box if you want article or note or step by step procedure the just search in google pump power calculation for me guides where specific gravity is the density of the fluid being pumped divided by the density of water once you have all of these values you can use the formula to calculate the power required to pump the fluid now let's go through an example to illustrate how this formula works in practice Imagine you're trying to pump water with a flow rate of 10 cubic meters at a pressure difference of 5 bars with an efficiency of 75%. The specific gravity of water is 1.0. Using the formula we just discussed, we can calculate the power required. Power required in kilo equals 10 by 5 by 1 3600 by 0.75 equals 0.444 kilowatts. So With these inputs, we would need a pump with a power output of at least 0.444 kilowatts to pump the water at the desired flow rate and pressure difference. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one.